Sina Suhail Najim wipes away tears as her attorney details the devastating discrimination, how a manager allegedly harassed her while she was working at this Walmart supercenter in Dearborn. Telling her, you stupid Arab, you stupid camel jockey, you stupid Muslim, go home, go to your home country, get out of here, you should learn how to speak English. And this just didn't happen once. It happened over and over and over and over again over months. Sina had fled ISIS in her native Iraq in 2015. A refugee, she eventually ended up in Inkster and a year ago got a job at Walmart in Dearborn. She told them she didn't speak English and says they welcomed her. You know, I was at Walmart. I was very happy that I worked at Walmart because I used to hear about Walmart a lot, all the time. And I said, thank God that I've been working at Walmart. Sina had a job. She could send money home to her daughters in Iraq. She says it was good, but then says she got a new manager, and that's when the harassment started in front of other employees and customers. For sure, she insulted me a lot. Why would she do that? This alleged victim says even when she reported the harassment, no one did anything to help her. She went to another manager, said, I don't know what we could do, what have you. Didn't do nothing about it and continued uh, over for months and months and months. Sina says she was suffering from anxiety, depression and panic attacks. Her doctor advised her not to go back to work. Now the Arab American Civil Rights League and attorney Nabiyad Ayad have filed a complaint against Walmart seeking damages for discrimination calling it unconscionable. Today, here in Dearborn, that somebody of Arab American descent has to face such ridicule and harassment and discrimination, particularly by a company like Walmart, whose majority customers here and one of their busiest stores are Arab American. Is very sad, especially for a company as large as Walmart, as American as it gets. Walmart did not respond to our request for comment. In Dearborn, Amy Lang, Fox 2 News.